the teacher will be humiliated here at LR Retro. Now, we will review the continuation of my last video. It's a chapter where Hanayama confronts a physically abusive teacher. Will Hanayama even hurt his own teacher? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts at the front of the school building. A delinquent student has been attacked. He has been slapped by a school teacher. It was a Korowashi high school teacher named Yasukuni Hino, 31 years old. I'm sure it hurts a lot, said the teacher. The other students of the school is concerned saying. It's happening every morning now. What do you mean? It was the so-called permission of physical sanctions. The teacher scolded the student saying. I'm going to order you the same thing that I ordered you yesterday. Today, when you go back home, you're going to change your hair color back to normal. Okay? Yes, sir, said the student. If you change your hair to another color, I will hit you once again. If you keep it the same, it will be even worse, but if you turn it to your normal color, you'll be off the hook. You don't want to risk it, it's not worth it. A word of advice, Takeyama. Yesterday, I slapped your ass. Today, your face was slapped. Tomorrow. If you decide to come with the same or another hair color, that will be an act of defiance against me. Before I hit you, I will close my fist first. You'll have to deal with this, so it's up to you really. The teacher opens his arm. You can go now. My fist is hard like a rock, you don't want it in your face. The other delinquent reacted, what the heck is permission of physical sanctions? Then the teacher finds another victim. Hey, you girl. That miniskirt is too short. In the 5th of September of the year 2000. In Sasabo, city of the Nagasaki Prefecture, a teacher at Sasebi High School, Atsushu Kurigami, 27 years old, was severely beaten. His injuries were so severe that soon after, he died due to a ruptured skull and internal bleeding. The reports confirm that he experienced traumatic shock prior to his passing. His attackers were three high school students of Mr. Kurigami that ambushed and lynched him that day. The students decided to savagely attack Mr. Kurigami because he scolded them during class due to their bad attitude and lack of respect for other students. The leader of the gang, youth, 17 years old, told the police he did it because the teacher insulted his pride by scolding him like a child. The Ministry of Education took this incident very seriously. They gathered to discuss the problem and to give a harsh solution to it. The final conclusion was that students weren't afraid of the consequences anymore. Especially taking advantage due to the absence of the old practice of punishment. They gave the consent of a reasonable physical sanctions recommended by the licensed teacher. The main conditions to acquire this license are the following. Has been a teacher for more than six years without incidents where the teacher was found at fault. To pass a psychological test. Pass an interview, and finally. To conduct a wrestling course and pass the test. While there were pros and cons about the practice. There was a new breed of teachers coming up. The teachers that excelled in both academic and educational fields. They were allowed to use any violence acts deemed necessary against any student. This was the first time that this happened it in Japan. And perhaps, the world? We now go back to the present. The teacher slaps the butt of the student. Saying. Your skirt is way too short. It may distract other male students. You must know I have no leniency, not even for girls. Fix that issue by tomorrow. You're a pretty girl. I will hate myself if you force me to slap you on the face. But suddenly, the teacher noticed a particular student. The delinquents became excited. Oh shiz. This is gonna be fun to watch. The teacher commented. What do we have here? Oh no. Those two are trouble. They don't want to run into each other. This is not good. Sir Hino laying discipline in front of all school. Yes, everybody knows who Hanayama is. Let's see how Mr. Hino tries his luck going against the most dangerous student in all Japan. Hanayama greeted. Good morning, teacher. Mr. Hino replied. Heh, you're always so confident. I know your trick. You like to walk tall and strong. Looking down on everyone, but not because you are powerful or wealthy or smarter than the rest. You intimidate everyone with this. That stupid cross-shaped scar across your face, isn't it? 
did you hear Mr. Hino? He said such a stupid thing to Hanayama, he's provoking him without a reason. Heh, what a moron. He doesn't even know he's already dead. The teacher continued. I don't know how it happened and I don't care. But I'm a fighting expert and I can tell right away, if that happened in a fight, you simply couldn't defend yourself and you got careless. That scar is simply showing that your lack of a good defense landed you in making a mistake and paying for it. From my perspective, you got careless and got cut like that. There's no mystery or trick in it for me, I don't fear you because of the scare tactic you use. But inflating your ego and telling stories about you. That's not cool Hanayama. People don't like swindlers. The most dangerous student in Japan. What would you do? If a teacher were to crush that rumor? Wouldn't that be the most dangerous teacher in Japan too? Haga commented. Come on, do it. Crush that little twerp in an amazing fashion. Then Hanayama replied. You are correct, sir. Mr. Haga, why? Hush, dude. Just keep watching. The teacher continued. Heh, well, what can you do? You attack people when you know you can win. But when you know defeat is certain, you take no time running with your tail between your legs. I expected a little more of the mighty and legendary Hanayama Kaoru. Ha. If someone has to make you submit to discipline, that person has to be me. What a nice pair of shoes. Your parents must be rich. Yeah, those look good on you, your family must be proud. You surely are a tiger that has earned his stripes already. Let's talk about something different. Your pants are too long, they look kind of scruffy. Yes, the larger pants don't fit me, so I had to special order. Then the teacher rushed in. He punched Hanayama with full power. A textbook reverse punch with full rotation from karate. Mr. Hino knew the sensation when his punch landed into an opponent's stomach. After all, this was his favorite attack. A straight punch aimed right at the center of the sternum that normally would stop a match. But this time, he felt something different, not like punching a human being or a creature, more like. Something he saw on TV a long time ago, maybe? Was it foreign? Was it used for construction? Most likely for digging. With gigantic tires, why does it have to be so big? After that punch, he said. You must still live with your parents. What kind of family are they? What did they do to you? Then Mr. Higa breathes heavily, then shouted. Are you a Yakuza? Teacher. Said by Hanayama. The teacher became scared. He's coming. His cells felt an electric shock. Sensing a death threat that was unavoidable. A much larger difference of power. A situation of impending death that he wouldn't be able to escape or avoid in time. Mr. Higa shouted as he was terrified. His body unconsciously bowed down to him to show defeat. Sensei, you. Said by Hanayama. Everyone is shocked. What? He lost? Just like that? He's so lame. Teacher, you are correct. Said by Hanayama. After that day, Mr. Hino returned his physical punishment card permit. The incident was known throughout the school, and Mr. Hino decided that he wasn't fit for the task. The next day. The man that was known as the Tower of Terror resigned from his job. Also, during that week. At the Ministry of Education. Due to a swarm of complaints from parents, students and other teachers. The permission for physical sanctions was abused by some teachers, and that was about to bring lawsuit to the system. The permits were recalled immediately, and the teachers that engaged in the practices were replaced by competent teachers. In the worst cases, they are facing civil lawsuits without hoping to win the cases. The bill was dead in the Senate in six months, and the ministry decided to involve isolated cases of violence to the authorities. Mr. Hino will be sorely missed. You really think so? He was a good teacher. I feel bad for him. I don't like violent people said the principal. So, what do you think of this confrontation? Do you think the teacher deserved it? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Mystic Venus, David Fritz, Joshua Ash, Mars Kane, Brandon Zipperl, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Lowell, Ethan, Haas, Carrot, Brennan, and Willowill74. We really appreciate your help.
If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Xiong. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Hanayama Kaoru vs Elite School Swimmers. Stay tuned.